Before looking at specific teaching ideas for the present simple tense, let's first look at some considerations for teaching ideas in general. We have to remember that these activities will be used in the activate stage of your lesson. Here, the focus will be on building fluency and using the language in a bit more of a free-flowing way, yet still focusing on that class's language point. We also have to consider the appropriacy for a number of factors. Timings, whether the activity will be too short or too long. We want to look at ages, making sure that the activity is appropriate for young learners or for adult learners. We also have to take into consideration our language levels. Will the activity be appropriate for our starters or our pre-intermediates or our intermediates? Will the activity be appropriate for a small class or a large class? And last but not least, certainly we have to take into consideration our students' culture and their interests, making sure that the activity is appropriate for either one. And finally, we need to make sure that we're maximizing our student talk time. Are the students using the language as much as they possibly can while they're still in the class? Remember that the more appropriate the activity will be, the more student talk time we'll get. Our first example of a teaching idea for the present simple tense will be a classic activity called Find Someone Who. Here, we'll be trying to find someone who has a general truth, such as the ability to play a musical instrument or the fact that they have a brother and a sister. This results in students going around the room asking questions in the present simple tense, such as, do you play a musical instrument? Are you a teacher? Do you have a brother and a sister? The answers resulting will also be in the present simple tense. They will be generally, yes I do, or no I don't. The students will go around trying to find somebody who fits the general truth and when they do they will write their name in the appropriate space. The students will mill around the room for generally five to eight minutes depending on your timing of your class. When the teacher feels it's appropriate he'll have the students sit down and begin feedback. Feedback will also be in the present simple tense resulting in questions such as who goes to bed before 11 o'clock? Students will raise their hand and also report in the same tense saying the name of a student in the class such as Jim goes to bed before 11 o'clock. During the feedback, the teacher can also expand upon these general truths. When the teacher hears that Jim goes to bed before 11 o'clock, the teacher can ask, why do you go to bed before 11 o'clock? Do you always go to bed before 11 o'clock? The same can be done for musical instruments. What musical instrument do you play?